It's your boy Mikey Bars. I'm at Potential Records with my man Joe Wiz. We on the spotlight with Mad Last TV. You're in the spotlight with your boy Nemesis, Mad Labs TV. Today I got my man Mikey Bars. You know what I'm saying? Once again, thank you for blessing my set. You know what I mean? With your presence. I appreciate you. You know what I mean? Ask you a few questions that the people know about you. You feel me? Let's go. All right. Yo, so um, what made you want to get into music? My cousin, my brother, when I was young, they listened to hip hop all the time. I just grew up with hip hop. I loved music. Uh, the feedback that you get from people, the way it makes you feel. To me, it's like a drug. I get high when I write music. I get high when I record music. When people tell me that I'm good, that I'm nice, that they like my tracks, it makes me feel good. Oh, okay. So, and how long you been doing it? Uh, pretty much since I was 14, started taking it serious in my 20s. 26 now, so. Okay. Do you have any influences? Everything 90s. Tupac, Biggie, DMX, anybody of the Rough Riders, Method Man, Wu Tang, all the people. Okay, so your your music, I mean, like, where you're from? Where you're from? Kajaka, Norristown, Plymouth, so, Pennsylvania. Do, so does your environment have any influence on your music? Of course. You know, I grew up in a struggle just like everybody else. Um, my struggle's different. Everybody has a different struggle. Um, you can hear that in my music. You know, my parents got divorced. You know, I wasn't rich growing up. So, you know, I had my own problems. We had to survive. So, yeah. Okay. So, when you write your songs, how do you go about developing? Where do they come from? Goes from the heart. Uh, sometimes I sit down and listen to the beat and write music based off of the beat, whatever I feel at that moment. Um, a lot of times I'm just sitting in the crib and I write a cappella and then I fit it to a beat later. Oh, okay. So. All right. That's what's up. So, what you hope to do with your music? <clears throat> I hope to take it as far as I can take it. I hope to go overseas. I hope to go around the world. I hope to touch everybody I can touch. Um, you know, I would love to be like Jay-Z and, and, and all them people. Uh, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I enjoy doing it either way. It's, it's the love of music. Okay. So, out of all your songs, do you have, like, a favorite song? To be honest, I, I, I don't like listening to myself. Whoa. Yeah. Um, I guess it's because I make the music. I guess it's because I write it and I sit on it for a little bit, then record it. So, like, by the time you guys hear it, to me, it's old. Okay. So I don't like listening to it anymore. Um, but I couldn't say that I have a favorite song because I feel like everything that I write or I drop, it gets better. Okay. So everything new is my favorite. All right. So besides the music, what is the most difficult thing you had to endure in life? Losing my grandmother. Okay. Uh, she was a big influence on my life. She helped raise me with my mom. Um... She was just a great person, and when she died, it really just messed things up. That's 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 deep, bro. That's, that's deep. Yeah, it's life. Exactly. You know I mean? Exactly. Life. Exactly. You gotta, you gotta pick up and move on. All you right. Gotta learn how to live without people. You gotta learn how to live without things. So, it's life. what made Mikey's bars different than every other artist? I don't sound like nobody else. I don't flow like nobody else. I don't talk about the same shit that everybody else talks about. I don't have the same image. I'm different. Okay. I'm a leader. I'm not a follower. Okay. <laughs> Y'all hear that? <laughs> when we start trends, we, we don't follow them. All right. So, last and final question. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Not in Pennsylvania. Wow. Um, I see myself doing great things. Either Whether that's with music or, or anything else, I feel like I was destined to be great. I feel like I was destined to be something. I feel like the, the, the world was meant to hear my story. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be somewhere. For sure, no doubt. Yo, you know you're my man. you my always man. been my man. <laughs> and once again, thank you for blessing my set with your presence. You got Thanks any shout-outs? Um, shout-out to my man Joe Wiz. January 19th, 10 years later. First solo mixtape, Sushi on the Market right now. You can hit me up for hard copies. TBC, we just dropped that. Collaboration with me and Joe Wiz. Crazy music. Uh, Michael got bars on the way, KOTC on the way. We got big things for 2016. I hope y'all ready. We, uh, we coming heavy. All right, for sure, no doubt. Thank you, and peace, King.